phoenix came upon the forest of Atalanta, a woman known for her stubborn refusal to marry and her legendary skill in the hunt for the Caledonian boar. Look, I've been married a bunch. She might have been onto something. I'm sure your wives would agree. How Atalanta's arrow was the first to pierce the hide of the Caledonian boar. Her story was a remarkable triumph for perseverance, after her father abandoned her in the woods, and she was raised by bears. All because she was a girl. The gods, I, myself, would never do something like that. Just ask Athena. If I can get a word in... During the great war with Troy, the rage of Achilles devastated the Trojan forces before his exposed heel proved his downfall. For a mortal, he got stuff done. What a wrecking ball, but so tender. You felt like you could just open your heart to him. Zeus? He was no god, but game recognized game. That's all I'm saying, you know. Uh-huh. Confident Achilles, the river Styx protected you from all. But alas, not all of you was protected.
During the war, Achilles was furious with King Agamemnon. Oh, I remember that. He stopped fighting for the Greeks. With disastrous consequences, but yes. The will of mortals should not be underestimated. Stubborn pride defeated Achilles long before that arrow pierced his mortal heel, Prometheus. But his courage and determination live on. After studying two of the heroes, Phoenix's head was swimming with their histories. She found herself admiring the statue of Achilles. Oh, who wouldn't? Look at him! Hey, Achilles. You must have learned a lot on your adventures, huh? Or maybe you didn't need to learn anything. Guys like you and my brother. Maybe you just know what to do. Well, so what if it's not easy? You weren't perfect, but look at everything you did. And with Athena guiding me... Thanks, buddy. 
Good talk. I'll keep trying. And you watch that heel, huh? Odysseus, you outsmarted a nation, angered the god of the sea, and won back the heart of your love. When the Greeks had given up hope of winning the war with Troy, the sure wisdom of Athena inspired Odysseus. I'll admit, I like that bit when Odysseus told the Cyclops his name was Nobody. Then, when he put his eye out, the big dummy was all, Oh, Nobody is blinded me! <laughs> the mortals can be quite clever sometimes, can't they? Determined Odysseus did not abandon his long journey home. Though his path was difficult, he saw it through. For a mortal, he did all right. I'll give him that. I'm not a need.
weapon keep breaking? No. You will all die for your stupidity. Once we kill Typhon, we'll turn on each other! of Heracles. Having to work for King Eurystheus must have sucked. You felt bad for Heracles? No, he needed to atone, but the king, adding the apples and Cerberus to the original ten labors, was kind of a jerk move. Lerna, Carinian Hind, Eremantian Boar, Stables of Aegeus, Stymphalian Birds, Cretan Bull, Man-Eating Horses, Belt of Apollota, Capital of Geryon, Golden Apples of the Hesperides, and Cerberus! Twelfth and final labor of Heracles, to capture the vicious pet of Hades and guardian of the underworld, Cerberus. Oh, I remember that. That was epic. And to think he accomplished it while he was mortal. want to fight every monster on the island, she would need to remember how many labors Heracles completed. Do it wrong! Fight! 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 Fight!
Heracles had many human flaws. He was quick to anger, he cheated on his wife, he was boastful and proud. Be fair, though. He kicked a lot of ass. For a mortal, you mean? Yeah, right, of course. Phoenix, how's the uh, uh, championing? The heroes were so stubborn, and they had their flaws, but they were so sure of themselves. In some ways, their flaws were what made them great. Sure, sure, sounds great. Super wise stuff. Is there something over by that temple? No, you stay away from that temple! Uh, staying away is a lesson too. And wisdom, and fate, all the things. You leave the wisdom stuff to me. Meet me at the Moria Tree Sanctuary when you're ready. The stuff of time is nearly yours. That was weird, right? You guys thought that was weird, no? Key. And it's Athena's symbol. This must be what she was looking for. Oh, I get it! This is my own hero puzzle! She gave me the clue and put this here for me to find. So I figure out my own path, just like the heroes. Good boys, stay.
When Phoenix entered the courthouse, she found 12 chairs. One for each of the 12 Athenians who would decide the fate of the vengeful Orestes. Ah, yes. Six wanted him surrendered to the Furies, and Six felt he should go free. Athena was the one who decided his fate.
bring back someone you love, my king. What price would you pay? I would render up my soul in exchange for my son's laughter, his vibrancy, for his smile. One more time. Priest of Apollo? Oh, hey! You... What are you doing here? Oh, you know... Prophecies... <laughs> Prophesas... <laughs> yeah, I've learned so much since I heard your prophecy. I have so many questions. Oh, man! Everyone has a question. I had to give that tiny god lady a whole big thing before she'd leave me alone. Champion this, champion that. Athena? You mean the path of the heroes? It was a prophecy? Well, not a real one. Not like that freaky thing that happened with you before. But she demanded a plan, you know? So I made one up. You made one up? If the path of the heroes is made up, then how am I supposed to summon the Staff of Time? Oh. Is that what you're trying to do? There is no Staff of Time, is there? I was the champion. This was supposed to be my fate. Maybe. But, like, sometimes there's a reason for the things that happen, and we don't even know, you know? Maybe it's a fake prophecy, but your actual destiny. Who can say? An oracle? Yeah. Good luck finding one of those. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go. See you again, buddy. Will you? I never know. Honestly. <laughs> You thought I thought the Staff of Time was real. Got you, Prometheus! Uh-huh. In fact, you were the one deceived. How can that be if I am the one telling the story in which the reveal occurred? I used the Staff of Time to change the story so that it doesn't exist. What's Phoenix up to? With all four crests of the Fallen, Phoenix could now pass through the mysterious door. Inside the Tomb of the Heroes, 
Phoenix could feel the presence of the great mortal warriors of old, summoned to the Golden Isle to fight Typhon. What a bunch of turncoats. Achilles, known as the war hero to end all heroes, had an unconquerable hubris too easily stoked by Typhon. I can't look at that sweet, sweet face! Betrayer! No, wait, just one more glance. Atalanta, insatiable huntress with a strength of mind and body unmatched. But the master of the axe lost her way, and her distraction caused her demise. Then, only Heracles and Odysseus remain. One, the divine epitome of masculine prowess, and the other, a king with unparalleled intelligence. They fought hard. But Typhon outwitted Heracles' brute strength, and Odysseus, driven mad by inadequacy when he couldn't best Typhon, fell like the rest. Long would they suffer under Typhon's grip, until Phoenix came to set them free and surprise us all. For now. Phoenix ascended towards the mysterious room, a place where heroism passes into eternity. For a guy trying to get unchained from a rock, you sure do like to stop and chew on the scene. An empty pedestal? One fit for a hero. to be worthy of this. I swear it. Phoenix riding reminds me of the hero Bellerophon, riding Pegasus. No hero could tame Pegasus until Athena came to Bellerophon in a dream 
and gave him a golden bridle. Then they rode together like the wind itself. Bored! You need to get a hobby, rather than living vicariously through others. Athena blessed mortals with many gifts. The temple of Athena is where mortals came to return the favor. Finally, you say something that makes sense. Mortals aren't good for much, but I too like the presents. Sacrifices? Athena, you're okay. Uh, why do you have a knife? To make you the champion. Didn't you learn anything in the hero puzzles? All the heroes failed. But then they became better and stronger. We're going to go straight to that part. <sighs> you mean the part where they became great? Prophecy says that my champion must become like the heroes of old and new to summon the Staff of Time. And the heroes of old are all race! Athena, wait! That oracle is a fraud! You've been duped with a false prophecy! It's... A, it's a real prophecy! She said with the Staff we can... We'll be big and strong. And use the stuff to beat Typhon and reverse time. How, Athena? After we're corrupted, then what? We'll be slaves to Typhon. There is no stuff. in you. You're the goddess of wisdom. Everyone looks to you for judgment and strategy. Is this your path? What someone else told you? <laughs> I don't know. Zeus used to tell me what to do. 
That's right. We're the perfect team. That's why she loves me. But you didn't always take his advice. You knew better. Maneuver this mortal. Athena, we need real judgment to beat Typhon. Not a flimsy magic staff. Something solid. Like that temple. My temple? Oh! I could use the power of my temple to open where my essence is. But it would have to be cleansed. I don't know if it's worth it. That temple is just like you. It's glorious, but it's lessened. Don't make fun of me! I'm not. I'm going to show you what I mean. First, we need to restore your temple. But why? Because I'm stubborn. Like you used to be. Wait! Take my blessing. I was going to give it to you anyway. To make you a better... You know... Wraith. Good luck, Phoenix. Who needs luck? We've got wisdom on our side. 